Wait. Okay, now we're back here. The game's about to start. There's a tip off. Mena gets the ball, passes to number 10. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. Great defensive stop there by number four. Number 11 under the basket. Two baskets. Just a quick, quick recap here. The Javelinas are coming to the game in 9 and 10. And uh, Curtis Spring Walkheads, 9 and 11. Both teams are winless in district play. So, oh. so whoever wins this one will be the first win in district. For either team. Yes, and, and this game is, is supposed to be a lot closer than people think. Cause, you know, we predicted the girls basketball game to be a 20-point game, but on this game... Well, you know, my predictions, I said I wouldn't hold it up to this game. So what, are, what is your prediction, Robert, well, before I give mine? As well? I, gi I give it, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be nip and tuck throughout the game, but I think at the end, the Walkers is going to pull it off. Maybe keep it within four to six points. You said Walkers are going to pull it off? Yeah, Walkers are going to pull it off. Oh, you're crazy. Of course, I want my Howard List to win. No, 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 I, I got you. I got you know what I mean? No, no, I, I, I think by all means that is a possible possibility because... But I feel that the Havilians should be winning by at least eight points. Eight points. So I, I, I call this a close game. But this is Chris City's game to lose. Now, I did like how the Havilians finished the game against Hondo on Tuesday. You know, they started slow, but uh, towards the end, they tend to reach up their game on offensively. So that's real good. If that carries over to this game, this could easily be the Havilians in the blowout. But we're going to find out. So two two. Nice pressure on there on the Javelinas. Ball goes out of bounds. Stays with the Wildcats. Yeah. No, no, it looks like it's a it's a, it's a foul against number yeah, twenty four. Luis doing a good job there for the Wildcats. Gets substituted by number with number ten. Mena. Rebounds the ball. Rebounds are on. Double zero was open for a split yeah. second there. Double Quick, O double is, is, is a good a good baller to keep your eye on there for Wildcats. Some contact. No foul. Nice spin move there. Layup no good there for the Wildcats. Yeah, la last time we played against this number 21 totally impressed us. Robert, I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, I do remember. I was real impressed, too. There we go. We got number three up in the lane. Number 10 now. Mena crosses his hands. Contested and block on the layup. It's a 2-2 ball game. Ball's out of bounds. The ball will remain with the Wildcats here. Now what? We expected this game to be super close, guys. So it's got to be an intense ball game. 2 2, 5 minutes 48 seconds on the clock, first period. And and it looks uh, like he stepped out of bounds here. And the instant replay, it's ready to go. Hopefully, oh. we can find some good plays. And we got instant replay. We got modern technology now. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're adding on to our production here. We just need more sponsors and, and collect from some. <laughs> For sure, especially the playoffs right, right, nice. right, oh, right around the corner. Yeah. Now, talking about the playoffs, Bobby, it's quite a possibility the loser of this game might not make it to the playoffs. That is correct, Robert. Right. And so, foul on number 10 there. Mr. A, lot of, Mr. J. Lewis. a lot of movement and action, but. No point. Struggling for scoring. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you let us know where you're watching from and, and support your team here. We will be a little bit biased a little bit, but at the end of the day, you know, we want a good game here. Nice guy. Contested. How was that? Number 10 for Carrizo fall underneath the basket. Mm, I don't see much there. 
Yeah, I'll be, but I'll take it. All right, it'll be Chris City ball here. Arenas dribbling it in. See, looking for number three there. And the passes need to be a little bit crisper there. I lost control of the, uh, uh, the dribble there. Now, uh, mm -hmm. we're one more, Jeez, one pass wrong. away there. Of, uh, I think right now they're too excited though. Yeah, I they're think we, too strong on the on the I passes. Think, I think on, we'll see better basketball here in a second. No, period. no, for sure. Hey, that was a lot of steps there. Yeah, he had a he had a traveler's pass there, Robert. He was traveling. <laughs> And it's a timeout. You know what? Honestly, that's a wise timeout right there. It's a yeah. It's a good timeout there. You know, the team's not doing so well. You know, taking care of the ball. You know, gather the troops, talk to them, and you know, keep yeah. it the uh, the eye on the prize. Type and, uh, so, uh, good oh, Je there. Jesse Flores asked uh, the audio. Uh, let me know if you can hear me now, because normally when we start broadcasting, we mute it just to get ourselves a breather. Now, I know that it was a little choppy at, at the beginning of the game, so let us know if it's choppy in your end. So this will be Crystal City ball. And thanks for the sponsors. Without their support, none of this would happen. Keep in mind, we'll be hitting the road on the playoffs, so stay yeah. with us. And any sponsors you want to sponsor us oh, for the nice, playoffs? Nice play there by number 15, but a missed opportunity for an easy basket there. Be sure. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say that should have been an easy layup, but Arenas was able to push that ball back towards the player. It wasn't able to complete that. There you go, number 32. Mm. Look, like I was saying, um, mm -hmm. we're going to play off the next couple weeks, so if you want to be part of us, you know, just contact us Bobby and myself or message us through messenger and Facebook and uh, we'll get you squared away uh, we got the free throw cam now nice two shots missed first one free throw cam sponsored by Tavos we'll, we'll get the side shot here uh, count Shoot, it shooters roll right there for the Javelinas Take an early lead, three to two. Uh, Both teams a little out of control uh, with the ball. Two and basket there for Carrizo. Kiss off the glass there. Yeah, number thirty-two making a, a hell of a shot. And here we go now, twenty-four. That's okay. a little rush right there in the triple shot. Oh, uh, blocking foul there. I enjoy seeing that double O playing and three on threes and in Corpus everywhere I see him, he, he's a hustler oh, and, really? and a great, you know, great player there for the Wildcats. So score four, three Wildcats. First basket is good. Nice free throw right there. So the Wildcats take the lead now. Five to three or, the, or, or your Javelinas. Let's see if we can make it two for two here for number double O. Oh, that's the second shot. Missed the second one right there. Number 15, corner shot. Money. Oh, it's beautiful right there. Silky smooth shot there. Big three. Javelinas with a one point lead. Oh, travel. You gotta call that a travel, but it's calling him out of bounds. Good call right there by the ref. Yeah. And Tapia brings a good element to this game here. Oh, dangerous pass there. And the turnover. Rebound, Howlin is. I don't know what yeah. happened there. You have to regroup and get that, handle all that ball. Nice pass there by Minia and a oh, great shot. Uh, play. Great job there for the Javinas. Tapia was just a great under the basket layup. And 241, 244 Nine. left on the clock here. Second period. Mm. And a foul there on the Javinas. Yeah. That was a good offensive play there by Carrizo. 
So 5-8 score now. Having us maintaining a three-point lead right now. So a whole team comes in for the Javelinas here. The second basket point is good. Mm -hmm. Fresh legs now for the Javelinas. So 7-8 ball game here. Mm. Mm. Ah, mm. A little short there. And a three-point attempt there for the Javelinas. Champa. Is it Champa? Yes. yes. <coughs> Pase Gennaro Crystal. No, Carrizo. Now, once the, uh, well, he's giving him a second chance here because you're not supposed to move when you're in the baseline. But I guess he gets a warning. Really? Is that such a thing of that? Yeah. When, when you, when, uh, anytime the referee hand, hands, hands you the ball, the, uh, the, the guy inbouncing the ball cannot move. Now, what I'm saying, what about the warning though? Is that uh, normal? Oh, uh, that's not normal. Normally, it's a, it's a, it's a technical or, or change of possession. I think junior high or in leagues, you get warnings and try to teach you how to play. So this is a... Uh, oh, nice basket there. These are friendly refs. Then. Yeah, they're friendly refs. Ah, my kind of people. Nice shot. Oh, look good from yeah, here. Look good from this. You're right, Bobby. Jump off. It's the city ball. Quick whistle right there. Yeah. But anyways, I'll they, take they, it. They, they want to control this ball game. They don't want to let it get out of control, so... So now the Walkers take the one point lead now. Let's see if the Hobbins can answer back now. Mm. Ball remaining with the with the Hobbins. Minute forty four seconds left here in the first period. Double team there in the inbounds. From the corner, it's nice. good. Seems that the Havlinas are warming up from threes. Oh, almost lost the ball there for the, for the walk has traveled. Yeah, he, he was a hard stop there and he slipped. Yeah, so I heard it from here. Yeah. It's Those are dangerous because you can always roll your ankle yeah. quite easily. So now that Oh, I think too many passes right there. Oh, they kept waiting instead of moving. You gotta keep moving. Turnover bomb for the Jaulinas. A little bit out of control there. Turnover Walkett has the ball now. Three, number 10, no good. Rebound Jaulinas. Looking for a shot. Double teamed. Wow, on the walk hat. Ball on the side now. We're getting the under the under the basket view. Corner shot number twelve. Money. Oh man, called it too early. Oh man, he tripped by himself. There you go, that's a layup. He wants it. <laughs> so look, it's a nice gotta, layup. We've got to get a replay on that one. All right. Extra yeah. points for that layup. At the, I think uh, in the five more seconds. Basket for them. Oh. Fast and furious now. That is the end of the first quarter. 
Might be coming up now the replay. You gonna put it on? I'll go ahead and put it on here. Yeah. yeah, put it on. We have the replay here. We actually missed the ball. Missed the ball. And then, what did we miss it? Maybe we missed it. No, no, no it's a steal yeah, here. Yeah. And then okay. a push, pass. And oh. fancy footwork and a reverse. Nice layup. Great job there. Yeah, how it yeah. is. That's in scene replay. Sponsored by Dental. What was it? Crystal. Crystal Dental Care. Crystal Dental Care. So close ball game, guys. Two point game. Well, it is. You called it. It is a, a close. Um, so far, I think lately the Hawaiians' his offense has gone in sync a little bit. They're doing a better job. But let's see if it carries over for the start of the second period. Yes, I I think this is where we talk about rivalries. This ball game is, you know, I think Christie has a little bit more talent, but right now. Rivalry game is both teams are giving up their all. So, well, the reason. Game. Well, I agree, but the reason the Hounds have a lead because they've been shooting the ball better from 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 beyond the beyond the arc. We go layup. Oh, a lot of contact. Yeah. Wow. And, and number twenty-one talking about like he can't believe it. Yeah, twenty-one <laughs> acting like Timmy Duncan. <laughs> That's a Timmy look. <laughs> not not. Oh. You take it right there. It goes. Oh, he had it. Good that was right. Beautiful shot right there. That was beautiful right there. I want him to chew that ball though. <laughs> Bouncing by Carrizo. We'll get some messages here by that the quality is real choppy. Okay, let's Sound is good, but the video is still choppy. Yeah. Maybe yeah. during during halftime, maybe we can, uh, yeah, uh, reconnect. So stay with us. I, I, I think it's just I think we still need to start deleting some some data. You that think that's the, the problem? It could be the problem also. That the free throw get cap got hit a little bit. Cause oh, so it did a little. Moved. Mm. I think it might be a little off now. Yeah, it'll be off to the right now. So now we can use it. Well, I mean, check. We got our technical support working on the situation. Oh. Good shot taken, but with a miss. So how it is with a four point lead still. <laughs> Dangerous pass there. Foul on the Carrizo. Crystal will still most the ball. Oh, nice shot right here. Oh, you gotta make those. You think this is causing a problem? Or no? I mean, that's the way you're seeing it. How, you don't see a choppy dude? No, it's, okay. Just, it's, no, it's okay. I think he's improved already. Let us know if it's improved. Okay. Yeah. On the quality. He's there, wife. But right now we're at the mercy as as uh, our internet here. Right, and and, and I want to thank the IT department here, the Christian Independent School District, and Dr. Gonzalez for allowing us to come in here. Because we always ask, have to ask for permission, and and they granted us access to to be here and broadcast for the viewers. So and thanks for them. And we got better seating. All right. This is a great viewpoint here. Oh. 
Oh, trap. Don't ball again. Crystal City ball. Good defensive stop by Crystal City. Let's see the side left cam here. 24 to inbounds. Block. Oh, block. Rebound. Oh, it should be Crystal City ball. Yep, it is. 15-14, Howlin has the lead for a three in the corner. Rattles in and out. Rebound, Walkat. Trying to push the ball. Oh. Looks like number 23 wasn't ready to receive the, the pass there. Oh, number three is going to, I think that's his third foul there for the second period. Number three? Yes. Yep. Three fouls, three fouls, and basically start of the second period. Wow. So number eleven on the line. Nice basket there. Randy Cifuentes out there, a big supporter of the LTS community. Second shot, mm -hmm. good. Nice roll right there. Crystal with a two point lead now. The back, going for two shots. So number 20 will be on the line. Yeah, I, my camera was moved a little bit, but we still get to see our free throw shot. Oh, they moved it. Yeah, basket is good. But they moved to the ref or what? I think the ball hit or something. Uh, we're not safe here, Robert. No, no, we're not. Dangerous. Free throw no good, the second one. I mean, they still have a three-point lead. Let's see what the walk is doing. Double team. Almost lost possession there for the Wildcats. Ooh, a lot of contact. <laughs> Looks like the referee was talking with one of the Wildcat players. Yeah, it's a 32. It's a double low, got a little bit aggressive. And the ref gave a, a verbal warning to 32. Trying to take control of the game and well, you, you, you do. Yeah, you're right. You know, I, I love that it brings a lot of emotion, but I don't like the negative emotion. <clears throat> Second free throw. First one was good. It's good. Money. 16-15. This is a ball game, people. Anybody can win this one. Nice give and go. Nice. And Ooh. one. Beautiful right there. Oh, that was nice. Sweet. Great control. No, that was an awesome shot there. So number 10 on the line. And one shot. Makes it a three-point game. And Chrissy is doing like a semi press. <laughs> oh, number 32. <laughs> number 33 needs to get his composure as well. And him touch him. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everybody's. Pointing fingers and all. I'm not even sure what the heck even happened. No, is that it was a foul and um, number 32 pushed him down. It, it looked bad, and the ref is trying to get control of this game. So he's gonna tell the players keep your composure. This is a game. Replay is gonna come up in a little bit. Yeah, replay is coming up in like is it this play? Yeah, it's right right here. Can you show the replay? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. I still don't really see what happened. Yeah, I, I put it in late, guys. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think nothing intentional, though. So I didn't see so really much on replay, yeah. honestly. Well, yeah, I, I didn't get to see it. But it's a um, Chris City ball, 20 to 15. It's only a five point game. That's a manageable shot there. Nice, nice move. Shot. Rebound. Couldn't get another rebound for number 10. Yeah. Putback is good. Nice putback by number Strong. 10. Strong. Great putback, man. Mm -hmm. Jay said, I want this shot. Now, nice, there we go. Answer. nice answer right there, Robert. What was that, number 30, right? Yeah. Did, oh, I, put, the walk did I put too many points there? <laughs> And 11 short. Three. Oh, short. Oh. Looks like the Howlings are winning the, the battle on the boards. Oh. Mm. Oh, I didn't put the scoreboard up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we need the fans to let me know. <laughs> If you're watching this, let us know how it looks. We're trying our best here. Yeah, it's a little choppy on and off, but it's... Yeah, like it's good, man. Yeah, it's, it's just the, the internet bandwidth here. We're having some issues, but... Carrizo doesn't know. Yeah, we got 28 viewers. Thank you for being with us here in the other guys' sports show. We're here in Carrizo. The last game of the evening here. Chris City has the lead 22 over the walk at 17. Big rivalry game. This is the ah. first matchup of both teams. Yeah, number 21 normally is a good free throw shooter. Misses both here. Number 20 gets the ball. Good give and go. Good back to him. He's a nice spot shot here. He wants it. Almost lost control of the ball there. Oh, lazy nice pass. Steal. This should be an easy layup up here. Oh, oh wow. it. too strong off the glass. Oh. <sighs> Can he answer it with oh. a three? Oh. We, we got to see that in replay, Bobby. Oh. Oh. I don't know if we got it. Is it this one? It was a killer crossover. Oh. Uh, it was a beautiful crossover. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ankles yeah. broken, left and right. Yeah, now number 11 got himself looking <laughs> is it that one or no bobby is it coming up yeah or no yeah, after this number 11 uh, after number pass, after number 11 goes up for the rebound no. okay well, no, we'll, sh we'll show it up here the replay look so he throws yeah. a black pass right here it's coming up yeah. so once so number 11 goes for the layup here here no back pass and then he gets yeah go ahead and switch over no replay yeah we'll, we'll he show replay. replay <laughs> right there. I don't know uh, you saw it though. Right there. Uh, Killer okay. crossover. Right there. Who was that? Who was the dribbler? Mr. Number 12. Number 12? Yeah, we got. We just got to bring it in sooner so the people can see it. Here. Let's see. Good pass. Good shot by number 32. Oh, I forgot to put the free throw. 23-19. Ah. Great job there, Pinny. Yeah. Somebody scratched somebody. <laughs> ah. So Crystal with a six-point lead with three minutes and 22 seconds left here at the second period. Looks like somebody from the Wildcats are, are down. Yeah. Um, number three was lost his balance and pushed the player down, but... Hopefully. Fourth foul of the game no, hopefully for nothing. number three. Yeah, hopefully nothing number three serious. has been too aggressive here. It's trying to assist and, him. And, and, and normally Martinez, Jesse, you know, you you want him as a as a three point shooter. Mm -hmm. Out there and a great rebounder for the Havlinas. Looks like he's walking on his on his own. It's always a good sign. 
So, so number 10 on the free throw line. <laughs> Basket is good. Five point game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great ball. And it's going to go down to the wire. It who might. Wants, who wants it more? Looks like, what's the biggest lead the Chris will have? Maybe six, seven points? Is that the biggest lead of the yeah. game? Oh, take it. Oh. oh. Yeah, Petey was wide open in the corner. Yeah, he wanted it. He wanted it. Carry. Yeah. Out of bounds. Yeah, lost control there. Trying to do too much there. He's a good dribbler, but he needs to stay composed. And he can take a good shot there, number 11, for the Wildcats. Five-point lead. We need Arenas back in the game here. Nice three-point shot. Oh, in and out. It's still a good shot. Oh. It's good. Nice. Paulina with a seven-point lead now. Little breathing room there for the Howlinas. Mm. Trying to, oh, don't look past number thirty-two. It's good. Nice shot there by number thirty-two. That was good. Uh -huh. and, and he did it quick enough to avoid that block as both guys went at it. But he was able to put the hops in it. Petey on a corner. Oh, yeah. Eddie answers Petey. Man, and everybody's excited. Now, this is a ball game. Oh, this, this is, you can tell you, every shot, everybody's getting excited. Uh-huh. Oh, no call. So there you go, Petey. Can you make it two he, for two? He can pull it back. Oh, nah, He's oh. returning the favor. Oh, oh. too strong. Oh, nah, stop ya. I'm calling him Petey for his dad. <laughs> oh, foul from the back. 32. We need a totally need a roster here. Yeah, we do need a roster. <laughs> hey, we're changing names. It's all show. But it's a good hey. thing. It's a good thing. We're not in radio, so they, the people can see themselves. <laughs> right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Twenty-three thirty. We're not almost prepared. <laughs> That's what we're missing. Here we go. Second shot. Nice. I'm enjoying this ball game, man. Both no, no, teams it, it are, is. are, it are bring, bringing it on here. Uh huh. And uh, wow, it looks like both were being sloppy, and then uh, both got excited. Oh, a lot of contact. Uh, crossover lost the ball. Pass in the corner right there. Lost the ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was actually a nice block. Yeah, but but he pushed them. It was nice. Somebody was trying to box him. Who yeah, was it? you saw that. Uh, I couldn't tell the number. Yeah, he did. He just pushed him out of the way and went for the block. Yeah, what, what it was that that player in front of him trying to get it on the way on his way. Let's do the replay. That's dangerous. This is, gonna, this is gonna take a little while, right? Maybe another ten seconds. Free throw, double O. Good free throw. Should to come back, right, Bobby? Yes. Maybe we'll put that in replay. Okay, I'll put the replay as of now already so that we can. Yeah, here comes the replay. Stay with us. Here it comes. See, it looks like somebody was trying to push him. He yeah. knocked him down and monster block. <laughs> and I like that he, after the block, he stared, stared him down. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that, but he was like, nah, I'm just going to help him out. <laughs> and he picked him up. Good steal there. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. Great. Well, now it's coming out. That's one player I would like to see more of in the court. <laughs> Looks like the Javelinas extends the lead, but somehow Carrizo comes back in three. Mm, short. Reverse, no. Rebound. Oh, same team. 
ball stays with the Wildcats. So four point game here, one minute left, second quarter. Okay, ball, 53 seconds. Oh right man, you gotta try to thread the needle. Fast break. Wow. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't think he was even untouched. That was a bailout by the ref there. Yeah, he was. It's, I think that, that Mania winded his hand, so the ref just thought it was going to be a bad foul. But So if you keep making both of them, it'll be a two point game. Yes. Mania only has two fouls, so he, he has the fouls yeah. to give. The first one is good. But I'm concerned about the, our our players being in a trouble with the with the personal fouls. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Two point lead for the Javelinas. Forty one seconds left of the second period. I'll take it. <laughs> Corner wide open. <laughs> Big three. What was that? Arenas. Arenas? For three. 24 seconds left in the second period. <laughs> 13 seconds. And charging. Charge. I don't know about that. He was he was leaning towards his side. Nine seconds here. <laughs> Double O has the ball. Number 10. He's got to take a shot here. One. Oh. Is it good? Oh, does it count? Yes. They give it to him. But then we've got to put a replay on that one. All right, that was yeah, nice. That was good. And uh, it's coming up another maybe 10 seconds. Mm. You already have it on? Yeah, yeah, I put it on. You have it on? Okay, this is replay right now. It was a, a great. I thought it was late, but he was able yeah. to pull it off. Well, you're going to see it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, right before you. Did it make it or not? And they try to roll the ball, and Arenas forces him to, you know, the, the ball to move faster. Which is smart. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if we can see the clock from here, though. Is it freezing on you guys? Or? There you go. Boom. Nice. I can't, I can't tell if it's good or not, though. The clock's out there. So, anyways, it counted. But still, regardless, the Holland still have maintained a two-point lead. In a close game, 33-31, Bobby. Yeah. Do you expect that more of that in the second half? I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this, this game is going to be won by less than 10 points on either side. I think Chris City should have the edge. But, hey, Carrizo's bringing it. Well, there are, I really like how Carrizo finished strong here in the second period. So, but so hopefully, the Holiday, they don't need to make too much too much adjustment. Just uh, better control for the ball. And play, uh, you know, better offensively. Yeah. But you you, you, ma you mentioned something really important, Robert, is the, the fouls. How how, yes. how how many key players will be in foul trouble? I know that's gonna so. be key. So uh, to me, uh, it's gonna be key early in the third period to see who gets those key fouls for the Hablinas. So anyway, this hits the commercials. Uh, music is real yes. loud here. Yeah. Same with the, the other guys' sports show. and Solonsky Welding and Pump would like to wish the Mighty Javelinas a very successful year. Go Hogs, go! Team 
fellow supports the Mike Alamus on another great season. Go Hawks, go! Crystal Dental Care supports the mighty Havolina. Go, go Hawks, Hawks, go! go. My name is David Castillo. I'm the owner of Castillo's Financial Services. We've been in business for the past 12 years, helping the community with their income tax and also their retirement planning. We also provide health insurance and Medicare insurance to all our clients in the surrounding area as well as Crystal City. We are here year round providing any services necessary to our clients. We thank you very much for your support and go Hawks go! Garcia's Financial Services Party supports our mighty Havelinas. Go Hawks go! What's up guys, this is Rocky, the owner of Clean Cut Studios. We've been serving the community for the past four years. We provide the latest hair trends around from a drop fade, comb over, braids. We have some barbers that specialize in beards, hair color, even designs, eyebrows, eyelashes, wax. We just wanna thank you for your business and loyalty as we continue to grow. Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm the owner of Beauty by Victoria. I've been a licensed esthetician for three years now. I specialize in brow waxing and lash extensions and I just wanted to thank you for your support. Clean Cut Studio supports the mighty Javelinas. Go Hawks go! My name is David Castillo. I'm the owner of Castillo's Financial Services. 
We've been in business for the past 12 years, helping the community with their income tax and also their retirement planning. We also provide health insurance and Medicare insurance to all our clients in the surrounding area as well as Crystal City. We are here year round, providing any services necessary to our clients. We thank you very much for your support and go Hawks go. Garcia's Financial Services proudly supports our mighty Havelinas. Go Hawks go! All right, guys, welcome back to the second half of Wow High School if it, Basketball. If it's anything like the second period, man, I can't wait for the third and fourth period. Jeez. And, yeah, we, we started off the first period for both teams was very sloppy. Yes, it was it, sloppy. Yeah, it wasn't until the intensity tuned up at the second period, Robert. Once they started breaking ankles and cross killer crossovers, that's how it took right there. But... It's only a two-point lead, by all means. It's not a safe lead. It's anybody's ball game. No, oh, uh, yeah. No penalties will be key. They have to. Yeah. For both teams, because both were both teams were in a penalty. Mm -hmm. Well, we're messing with them, so. <laughs> nice yeah, enough. we would like to move the camera. What happened? Yeah, we're going to show, show the shooting there. Yeah, I don't know if that was a travel or not, but two points there for Wildcats. Tie ball game, just like that, guys. Second. Oh, so the shooters, thumb blocking the camera? Yeah. Oh, I got to move them. Yeah, we're, we're going to see if we can. Come a little, Bobby. Okay, let me back to the action. Oh, tied ball game. Hmm? I was distracted. I'm gonna send Bobby or somebody. Somebody was making fun of my shorts today, so. No, no, no. I put up professionalism again. <laughs> <laughs> we don't criticize. So, anyways. Oh, that's an easy layup for our double O. And Carrizo with the lead now. 30, 35 to 33. First two baskets of the start of the third period for Carrizo. Started a little slow for the Crystal. And the answer. Tight ball game. <laughs> Couldn't connect there. Twenty-one trying to make a shot, lost the ball. Yeah. When Thirty-two has the ball, and I'm twenty-one is a good ball handler and a good shooter. There. Ah, turnover. Nice behind the back in for three. It's good money. So three point game now. Oh, yeah. nice basket there. Contested, contested. A lot of contact, no foul. The basket is good though. Back and forth. Now, this is a rivalry game. What I'm talking about. So the intensity is is there. Yeah, it's Third there. Period. Uh -huh. Shooting two now. Our, our camera stayed on the opposite side. Yeah, I told them they can move it. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any battery on that? Yeah, we still have some battery on that. <laughs> they're, they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. Thank, thank you. They're moving sponsor our sponsor, and they're moving our equipment gently. So, thank you, big. Yeah, I know it's in the way. Hopefully, we'll move it here in the in a few minutes. Second mm -hmm. throw is good. He left because he played with camera. Both cameras. What? What's that? Corner, wide open for a second. I think they make the move number 11 to the left side, left, oh, left handed. Nice. Block for the Javelinas. 
Crystal with a two point lead. 39 37, 535 left here in the third period. A lot of, lot of bog. A lot of game left. Dangerous pass intercepted by Jalinas. Fast break. Uh, Open three. Number here. five in the corner. Oh, he had it. And the elbows. Oh, nice Excuse rebound. Me. Monster rebound. Oh, Putback number nice. 10. Woo. Nice shot. That yeah. was a, that was a beauty right there. Yeah. Double O, man. Take it. There you number go. 12 in the corner. Oh, Ooh, oh. Too strong. Rebound. Oh, oh can't it. get the ball <laughs> on that. Oh, too mm. soft. Tip. Number 11 can shoot it too. So here's number 11. Oh, nice shot. Was that a three? Yeah. Big three for the Wildcats to take a one point lead yeah. over the Javelinas. Lost the ball there. Number they don't know how to just get in and take it. Reaching you, foul. You didn't tell them that? Give us a we're having some technical issues here. Yeah. So anyway, back to the action. Lost <laughs> the ball. Ball goes over. All right. Fam cam. To take it back over there. There you go. There you go. That's a fan cam. Fan cam right there. <laughs> yeah. Ball over here. Ball. Camera over here. Thank you, Gilbert, and, and we had to move. Yeah, supporting, moving the camera crew. Hard to work. Like, I don't know. We're having some technical issues there on the camera crew. Nice bounce pass, lost control, number number 11. Number 30 keeps his wall catch. Put back, no good. Rebound, fighting for the ball. Nice oh pass. Man. Ball goes out of bounds. Crystal has the ball. Yeah. Crystal has the ball. Couldn't find a handle yeah, on Yeah, a little sloppy there in that offensive position for the wall catch. Oh, why? By himself. <laughs> nice. Tight bugging or... Not oh, by one. Not by one. Back and forth. Who's going to do the separation? Who's going to take a five or ten point lead? Yeah, somebody has to get a run. Defense, I think, is key. I think whoever gets hot in the three might win this game. Oh. Nice shot there by Carrillo, but a miss. Great rebound there by Jay. Jay looks like he's going to take it all. Or one on one. There you go. Left hand layup. Oh, oh missed it. Wrong. Rebound 3 4. Oh, good up the glass. Sweet bank shot. And so far, rebounding has been key for the Jaulinas. <laughs> Setting up the offense here for the Walkett. Nice shot. Yeah, that looks like it's this spot right there. Uh, I like this guy's shot. Uh, right, right there anytime. in the corner, right there. Yeah. Kind of inside the elbow there. There it Number is. Five. Oh, off. Up. Rebound. Oh, bring it back up. Yeah. 47 44. Mm -hmm. Oh, ball. Oh, Safe by the Wildcats. Oh, looks like he traveled. Looks like he dragged the pivot foot there.
<laughs> nice shot there for number 20. Was it 24? 24 for the We have a nine, five point lead. No answer for the Wildcats. Potential fast break opportunity for the Javelinas. Up the middle. 24 lost it. Hard off the back. Back iron. Fast break number double zero. Too strong. Missed the layup and left side. Lost control. What is that? Charging. Charging. <laughs> Little Bobby. I got to see that in replay. Uh, that's not charging. I, I don't know, but he lost control more he than lost, anything. Like, he lost control, so he's going to get it, and they just... Uh, oh, I'm so upset. I don't know. When is it? Is it still happening? Yeah, it's about to happen after this. Or is it this they one? shoot it and miss it, and then they get the rebound. Is it this one? I don't know. Did it already happen after this? Yeah, replay. I don't know what do you think about that. I don't know about that, guys. Looks like he will save by the ref. So let's go back to the action now. So 49-44, Javelinas maintains the lead still. Did he make the, f Bobby, did he make the first free throw? No, he did not. And missed the second. They missed the second one. So, a little strange for missing both free throws. Yeah, no, double O is high percentage. Oh, my. That's, ah, oh, look nice. I think he's tired, but. Yeah, it looked kind of, he couldn't <laughs> elevate. Oh, in and out. Looks like Double Zero is trying to take over this game, but hasn't been successful on the ball. Um, scoring the baskets the last few minutes. 55 seconds left here at the end of the third period. Still, Holinas maintain the five point lead now. Still. The 2 3 defense. Timeout Crystal Time City. Timeout Crystal. I guess ah. they, they want to make a, a sure shot or, or maybe put some new people in. I, I'm not sure. Oh, well, first of all, you want to give them a break, but. You know, we need to get our composure. Both teams, I mean, this is a good time out for both teams. I think both teams are, are playing uh, they're, at they're a great level. Yeah. you, you got to dig in at this point. you got to really soul search yeah, to, to, to muster the energy or, or see, like Bobby mentioned, it looks like the who, who made the shot last one or made it the jump shot, but there was no elevation from the jump shot. Right. Kind of flat-footed. Yeah, and that's why you got to put in the work and getting those legs tired and those, you know, and keep jumping. You gotta always, coaches always tell you you gotta practice for five quarters, and that's the reasoning for that because you want your legs to still be with you in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not everybody can be a Laker great out there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or play with Tim Duncan. Oh, yeah. Tim Duncan and, uh, has had a little hop. <laughs> and uh, Mascot made an appearance. All right. There you go. Okay, 47 seconds here. Oh. Mm. Nice. Oh, that was Three a nice no shot. good. A bit too long. Crystal City ball. Jump off. Should be Crystal City ball. Yes. Yes, it, it is. is. 37 seconds left here. The third period. All by himself. Oh, Contested. No foul. Looks like a block, maybe. Nah, that was a lot of contact. Fighting for the ball. 20 sec, 24 seconds. Three from the corner, no good for the Wildcats. Fighting over the rebound, rebound. Number 10, Wildcats, it's oh, good. Okay. 15 seconds. Plenty of time to make a shot there. Three in the corner. Off. Off. 
Yeah, it looks like that was a frustration. Mm -hmm. uh, foul there for number 15. Seven seconds left here at the third period. I'm not sure what's going I don't know what the confusion is. Well, what was that? They're trying to substitute the player? What? Yeah. They didn't allow him to enter? Yeah. <coughs> when, when they inbound the ball, it's too late. That's what they're saying. Two seconds. Take it, take it. Oh. You did not see the time. So the last period here in the ball game, man, this is this is where Whoa. the money counts right here, there man. It is three point lead here for the Javelinas. Can oh. they maintain this lead? I for sure, know. this lead is not safe. It's not yeah. a safe lead. Let's go to commercial here. I yes. want to throw one commercial out there. My name is David Castillo. I'm the owner of Castillo's Financial Services. We've been in business for the past 12 years, helping the community with their income tax and also their retirement planning. We also provide health insurance and Medicare insurance to all our clients in the surrounding area as well as Crystal City. We are here year-round providing any services necessary to our clients. We thank you very much for your support and go Hawks go! Garcia's Financial Services proudly supports our mighty Havelinas. Go Hawks go! It's starting to look better, yeah, not as choppy. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is the fourth period, ladies and gentlemen. Score, Chris City 49-46. So they both had a tight score on the third period, Robert. The Cavaliers went in with a three-point lead. They come out in the fourth quarter with a three-point lead. Yeah. So now this is, to me, I think this is a crucial win because both teams have not <laughs> won a district. It's quite possible the team that loses this game might not make the playoffs. No, no, no. I think you hit it on that, Robert. Mm -hmm. You know, but Chrissy has been through both toughest team in the district, which is Divine and Hondo. Uh -huh. And I think Carrizo had a bye after the Hondo game. And this is not the last game Crystal and Carrizo are going to meet. We're still going to meet them in a couple weeks right, in Crystal. Second round. There's second round. Travel. Man, my cameraman is getting feisty over here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Alex? Alex is uh, away. Yeah, Alex is my professional. Alex is on the road. He keeps us in. in he line might. Here. He might be in Chicago by now. There you go. Here you go. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that was a beauty, Robert. We needed that one. So you're saying, so you're Robert. So you're saying they make another three pointer, the game's over. I think so because well, I think that will carry momentum, gives energy to the players. But I feel, I feel like it gives you momentum. But it doesn't mean that like you got in the bag. No, no. I, I feel like sometimes you need that. You just need it, something. You, you, you always need momentum. But I feel like it's the Carrizo's gonna make a run, and then they're gonna get like, and then so, it's gonna so, end well, up. With so, so you're saying Carrizo has a run in them still? Yes. Or maybe what five six point run or five, what? Yeah, like five six point run. Well, I don't and, know. And, and, well, I'm just gonna stick to my my MIT rule book is whoever scores 55 first wins. Uh, let's see if it's true or not. Ooh, monster block there. Oh, lost the ball, baby. <laughs> Number 24 again. That was a nice block Return right there. Turn to sender. I want to put that replay on there. Yeah, we got to put the replay on that one. I think. What is it? After this one? Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention, Bobby. A little choppy though, but hopefully we can make it happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not instant replay; it's replay. Yes. Right here, right there. Look at that monster block! Get out of here! Oh man! Oh man! That was nice.
So inbound space here by Carrizo. Oh, he has he had that shot. Yeah, he should have got it. Oh. He hesitated. That was charging. Oh. You know what? I like that when the referee's kinda animated. He makes that <laughs> boom move right there. Yeah. Well, this is my time to shine. <laughs> and does that <laughs> like, boom. He knows he's in the other guy's sport. Oh, show. he knows. He right there. knows there's a chance to. <laughs> that referee's going places right there. Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> I'm the ref. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> sign, sign, him sign him up. Sign him up. Yeah, man. 52-46, Robert. I, I think it. with a three-pointer, Chris City seals this game I'm here. telling you. I'm telling you. That's what I mentioned yeah, well, it. Yeah, well, I'm talking about the 55 Big. score. Oh, no, no. I'm just talking about oh, three in general. Shaking, bank, oh, baby. Nice. Three, four. Woo! Oh, my God. Sweet. Got to get fouled. Get a free throw. Yeah, get, get off fouled. Me. Or else Carrizo's in the game. Oh, oh nice Carrizo. shot. Nice answer there for the Wildcats. Oh, 49. Oh, yeah. A lot of time left. Six minutes left. Up by five. Oh, well, the Wildcats. Oh. I think Craig should be too cute there in that pass there yeah. for the Javelinas. This is that, an opportunity that, for that the Wildcats. can go to the elbow and take a shot here. Yep. Oh, I was looking forward to that elbow shot. <laughs> nice head, head fake there. Wow. Oh. For the, for the Javelinas. 24, oh, I think he's, he's, getting, he's getting hot. He wants the ball. Oh, nice. For three, oh, he got it. Man. Oh, oh, my God. Too strong there. Oh, just missed it. We missed it by one. Well, so but it is what it is. So it's going to be a close game, guys, based on the MIT. Oh, stats. it's proven. Proven stats right there. Yeah. Whatever reaches 55, 10, what was it? 80% last week? Or now it's maybe 85% now. No, it was Oh, nice pass. 21, good shot there. Nice. I like that shot from the Wildcats. Yeah. It took its time. Yeah. Faked it. Good form. And, yes. And anytime you have a player, you know, giving you space, that's what you got to do. But you got to be a shooter. A body. That's a left hand. Ooh. Huge block there for number 21. Nice rebound there. What was that charging? They called a charge on that. I think the rev kind of saw that he was being emotional, so you know he kind of lowered his shoulder a little bit. Yeah, there. and and, and the I don't know if you can see that in the replay. It's a display or, or no? Yeah, I, oh. We'll see if we can bring it in. He's got the shot. Oh, 21's got there. It is. Nice. Oh, I missed it, though. That's yes, coming up. Nice miss. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't know if you saw that replay, but it looks like he just lowered the shoulder, so it was a good charge good, there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good call by the ref. So, 51-56. Oh, scoreboard. Bring scoreboard, scoreboard. Four minutes. Four minutes left, baby. Time out. Man, can't see score. We got 37 views. Thank you for watching the other guy's sports show. The only place okay. where you see Javelina, basketball, football, baseball, volleyball. Mm -hmm. well, we haven't done volleyball. We're going to do volleyball. Yes. And then there's... If we had canicas, we'd do canicas too. Yes. Live. Oh, tetherball. <laughs> <laughs> hey. We'll, we'll showcase anything. We'll showcase anything. It's going like, yeah. it's going ESP and Ocho. <laughs> if it resembles sports, Pen we're live. Pencil break. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back. Coming back. Number two pencils. Uh, who can hit it? It's coming back. Red, red wood or no? <laughs> can try. All of trustees. <laughs> Yeah, you should get Spectrum, Rick Flores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, don't get me started with that. I know it's a close game. Five points again. 
Honestly, to, to me, you know, what I'm thinking, if Carrizo can manage to take the lead, it's going to put tremendous pressure on the Javelinas. So it's important for the Javelinas to maintain this lead. Even though it's a five-point lead, but it's good enough. Right. So we got to rely on defense here. Yes. And, and ball movement. And that's exactly what, what Mr. J is doing here. Staying poised. Oh, trip. There it is. There it is. Are we in the bonus? We're not even in the bonus yet. Uh, it looks like the, the fans from Carrizo didn't like that. Uh, uh, they didn't like the trip or they didn't like the fact that Jay didn't like the being tripped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, should have gone for it. Rebound. Avalina 24. He's straight. Marquez has the ball. Nice bounce pass. A oh, little bit of control. Oh. Crystal with the ball. Trying to push it. Find an open man. Number 24 open. Not anymore. Oh, nice pass nice. inside. Great pass there, number 24 for the Havanina. I like that. Open three. Oh, nice shot. Oh, oh short. Rebound. Oh, a lot of bodies on the ground. And I heard it from way over nice here. Ball. Hope everybody's okay. That looks like it. Now the Havanina's a seven-point lead, Bobby. Is that enough? Is this enough for well, the win? If there is like a minute or two, then I'm like, yeah, but still, in my opinion, a lot of time. Three minutes. Yeah. Carrizo needs a big shot here. You got to score at this position. Nice. And there it is. Rawcat. Five-point game again. Not going Second. anywhere. You know, there's pride on the Wildcats, you know, playing at home. Yes. Get in there. Get in there. It might be over. And good. Go to the free throw line. Wow. Our, cam our free throw camera died, so we're going to have to rely on the other camera here. Oh, battery? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do we I want to see the replay. Yeah. Did we cut that in? Uh I don't know if that was a foul. Uh, I, I don't think so, but uh, it's a good call. This is the time when we miss miss Alex. But unless unless he, he undercut him on his feet, though. I think he yeah. stepped on him. He stepped on him. Yeah. Because when I saw him, he was like, like he wasn't even close. So. Wait, no, we're gonna replay, not instant replay, replay. Okay, Slow here eventually. Replay. Slow. Nine point game. And there it is. It's coming up, Bobby. You know. He was not gonna uh, see it. Oh, uh, off the corner. Uh, Fire that camera guy right there. That camera girl. <laughs> camera girl. <laughs> no, no, she's doing good. <laughs> she I'll, I'll buy her some nuggets after the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, seven fouls. So, oh my god, I'm a double O. Yeah, it looks like there's some. Last three free Throws. Yeah, he's yeah. Mr. Reliable. Yeah, it's been consistent in the first half, but. And that always told me, you, if, even if you made all of yours in the first half, all that really matters is in the end. Yep. People remember that. An eight point lead there for the Javelinas. Is that enough right there? Ooh, a lot of contact. So we should be going, going to the one on one now. No. Yes, we, we have. They have seven fouls. It will be this, their eighth foul, no? No, that's not. Oh, that's their seventh foul. So it'll no. be one on one. It should be one on one. No, it goes like that's how many f fouls we have. We fouled them seven times. They fouled us six times. Okay, so I thought that was the seventh foul. So it's a sixth foul. Yeah, because they counted on the other side. Oh, nice. Great rebound there for the Hollandians. In the corner, all of a sudden, number five. Oh, yeah. Bonnie. That might be. I think that might be it. Might be it right there. And a turnover. And a turnover. I think that might be it. 
That might be it right there. 11 points in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. I don't seconds. know. That might be too much there for the Wildcats to overcome here. Oh, lazy uh, pass. Should yeah. I let it go? Oh. You know what, Bobby? Looking back, you know what? Turning around was a crossover. I think when that happened, Crystal had the momentum. I think so. I think so. <laughs> it was I fun. Think so. I think I think number. That's the layup who wanted it. All by himself. Wait, there it got, is. Wait, who got broke? Was it number zero? Was I think it number the, zero? The floor gates 11? are open now for the house. Number Hunters. 11. That was wrong. Oh, nice little move there. Block there. Oh, that's a block. That's all ball. Let me see who the Hollandians face next. Might be Pearsall. No, no, it can't be Pearsall. No, that's uh, the girls. I believe. Uh, let me look at the schedule real quick here. This is a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. No, so this, fans, this is over. Is over. So oh, fans Robert. Carrizo, oh, fa fans are starting to pack up. That's they're calling it. Now it looks like everybody's off on Tuesday. The next ball game will be at Pearson 31st. So no, no game on Tuesday, Bobby. Yeah. Everybody has a bye. Yeah. This so it looks like we won't be back until Divine at home. On the fourth, yeah, it'll be probably the next telecast. Yeah, the, the fans are starting to walk off. But let's go ahead and put the camera back to twelve point game. Yeah, well, the Wildcats I think gave us a hell of a game though. No, no, it was. It this is uh, a, a great win for the Javelinas. Well, if they you know there's managed time left, but they have a commanding lead. Nice spin move, block there. Oh. That was our ball, but if they manage to win the Hawaiian, this is going to be a great win. And hopefully, hopefully, this can help us, you know, in the next couple of opponents. You know, because we're cool. still going to face Honda. We're still going to face Divine. Who else in our district picks? Pearsall. Hondo. Number 11 on the line now. So for the next couple of games, Crystal will face Pearsall on the 31st. And the fourth will be Divine at home on the road at Hondo. Remember the game we saw? Mm -hmm. And Carrizo again on the 11th, so we'll probably do that live also. And finish off the district will be Pearsall at home on the 20 on the 18th, excuse me, of February. Ah, oh. a minute 30 seconds left. 34, three, oh, and it's good. Nothing but net. Oh. 15 point game. And that's 15 game. point. That's game for sure. Lee. Double zero. Ah, double oh, he's been off, man. And yeah, he's been off. And he normally he's a consistent. Yeah. In the second half, he's been off. Yeah, I really enjoy watching him play. But at the end of the day. Crystal City's still playing hard. Uh, oh, oh yeah. nice. What was that? Exactly. <laughs> what was that? A forearm or an elbow? Yeah, he sold it. He sold it. Yeah, it looks like he fouled out too. 24. Yeah. He Big knew. Flop. He knew. So he's going straight to the bench. Big flop. Yeah, I give that guy an Academy Award. <laughs> hey, but, that, but that's what you got to do sometimes. You got to sell that foul to a referee or call. It's true. humans, man. Give yeah. him a grind. It's true. You know. And, and Sally is, is becoming part of the game now. And uh, that's oh, all. Short. 47 11, seconds zero. left here at the <laughs> end of the game. Yeah, the, the fans are on their feet for the Javelinas. 70 to 55. Another three. Nope. They're just playing takeaway now. In the last 20 seconds here. Oh, come on. Carry. Carry. <laughs> Maybe we'll start to be too cute here. Yeah. So this will be our first win on district. So, it, hey, 
Every time you can get a win in district, it's a good win yes. in my book. Ah, number 21, another player that has Seven. been off for Carrizo. Seven, four, three, two, one, and that's game. Final score, your Creek City Mighty Havilene is 70. Carrizo Spring walk at 55. Wow. Great game. Exciting game. Except for the first period, maybe? Yeah, the first period was the ugliest yeah. one. And then yeah. it, 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 the intensity picked up, and it, and it became a great ball game, guys. Yeah, and the energy of the, of the fans, too. We're going back and forth. Yeah. So, wow. Wow, wow. Great win for the Howlinas. You know, I, I was room pressed. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, great win on the Howlinas. Great win on the Lady Howlinas. Uh. Um, you know what? We're going to Pierce after this. So, well, we have a bye on Tuesday. Sorry, yeah, what was your Bobby. prediction? Uh, Crystal City by eight. By eight? Yes. I was the closest one. I said Crystal City by 14. Okay. By 14? Hey, good prediction, guys. So, what are you going to do, Bobby? Any last words? That's it? Or? No, uh, just keep keep tuning with the other guys' sports show. Make sure you like and share our page. Uh, Crystal City looks like we're going to the playoffs, baby. Yeah, I think so. We are. Yeah. Remember, I, I, keep yeah. in mind, there's an opportunity. If you still want to sponsor us, yes. we're taking this circus to the playoffs. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to Kingsville again. Hey, I think we will. It's, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of chance. You know, we, we can make it happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. So, it's exciting. I'm exciting. Uh, you're exciting? Oh, you're excited. No, I'm, okay. I'm, exci I'm excited, yes. I, 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 think change it. I think you are exciting, though, yes. Robert. Yeah. That's hunger talking right there. <laughs> Or lack of food right there. Right, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm all I'm nourished a, right here too, man. I'm a, I'm a big guy. I'm a, uh, this tablecloth here. I'm trying to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for watching the other guys' sports show. Uh, a big, uh, big thank you also for our sponsors. Without the yes. support, none of this would happen. Uh, so, I really, re we really appreciate that, and um, and be sure to shop local. Bobby mentioned that all the time. You know. Yes. Drop by and tell them, hey, thank mm -hmm. you for supporting the other guys' sports show. And uh, I'm pretty sure they'll appreciate that. Yes. So with that, guys, we're walking away here. Yeah. Thank you for Alex for being here in the camera guy. Little Bobby, thank you. Uh, Patty, my younger sister, my younger beautiful sister, mm -hmm. thank oh. you for the camera. Bobby Castillo here on the left. And, Myself, and Robert Martinez. And Rene Trevino who did Rene? the JV game. Uh -huh. Thank you, Rene. So, all right, guys. Thank you. We're take, tuning off. Take it away. My name is David Castillo. I'm the owner of Castillo's Financial Services. We've been in business for the past 12 years, helping the community with their income tax and also their retirement planning. We also provide health insurance and Medicare insurance to all our clients in the surrounding area as well as Crystal City. We are here year-round, provide any services necessary to our clients. We thank you very much for your support, and go Hawks, go! Garcia's Financial Services proudly supports our mighty Havelinas. Go Hawks, go! Team Donald supports the mighty Havelinas on another great season. Boutique and Solonsky Welding and Pump would like to wish the Mighty Havelinas a very successful year. Go Hogs, go! Here in the Savannah County Center, we support our Havelinas and our Mighty Havelina band. Go Hawks, go! go.